Hi guys, hope you're all okay. Today I have a Sainsbury's food haul to share with you. Uh, before I get into the video, I feel like I should explain this. Um, I'm not feeling great. It's not COVID related, please don't worry. But um, yeah, feeling a bit blue, <laughs> a bit meh, which I think a lot of people feel naturally in January because all the niceness of Christmas is gone and the decorations are down um, and then obviously it's that bit worse right now because of everything that's going on in the world um, and I kind of was tempted to put, hide behind my glasses which I do um, and put a fake smile on and just do a quick intro but I don't feel that that's the kind of relationship we have so yeah it's like nothing crazy's happened just not feeling great. Um, little Ruben has been having some gum issues. It's like the start of teething, we think. Um, as such, his in his sleep routine has been massively impacted. Knock on effect. My sleep routine has been massively impacted. So it's just kind of keeping him comfortable and working through it, bless him, it's not his fault, he's a baby, he can't help it, but I'm like, tired, and I think being tired always makes you feel a little bit worse, add to that, here's the TMI bit, I've had a sore nipple for about 10 days, um, uh, every time I pump um, express milk, you know, it started off uncomfortable, it's now getting to the point where it's I don't want to say painful, but it's it's there, it's there, um, which kind of signals the beginning of the end for our breastfeeding journey, I feel, which makes me sad. You know, I've done 19 weeks, but it makes me sad that they'll be coming to an end soon because it doesn't seem to be going away. But yeah, that's where I am. That's how I feel right now. Um, some people might see this little ramble a bit selfish because of everything that's going on in the world but I guess it's just to kind of say that we all have crappy days and yeah I could have come on and done a fake smile and but I sometimes think that's worse you see you're everybody online living their best life and you feel like crap um that sometimes makes you feel worse doesn't it so I kind of thought you know I can't be the only one with a bit of January blues um and apologies if this, you know, you watch this video for escapism rather than realism. Um, but I wanted to be honest, that's where I am right now. So you can normally tell in my voice. And I always get, if I do a sad video, when I, if I do a video where I'm kind of trying to be more upbeat than I am, I always get messages saying, you know, are you okay? You don't sound okay. So transparency and being honest, that's where I am. Right food haul uh sainsbury's this came to like 73 quid um slot was booked between 10 and 11 driver rang me at like 10 past nine asking if he could come because he was like five minutes away so i said yes um one substitution which i kept one freebie lots of freebies available on the website but only one available in my store if that makes sense that, um the store my groceries come from is a little store so you don't always get the biggest selection Right, let's show you what we got. And there is the overview. Um, <clears throat> right. Oh, so we have oh, a Diet Lemonade and two bottles of Diet Pepsi, some ibuprofen, um, coffee pods. So we have a standing monthly delivery of this from Amazon. You know you can do that thing where you like can have a one-off purchase price or you can set it up to come monthly and it's a bit cheaper so we normally have well we, we have that come every month um but as i kind of mentioned there's been a lack of sleep and coffee intake has kind of increased a bit for both me and john i think so i had to order some pods from sainsbury's um i'm basic i like the flat whites but John likes things a bit stronger, a number seven. Uh, so yeah, so we've got a Mexico Americano for John and then a Cafu Lay, Cafu Lay? 
Is that how you say it? One of them. Um, if you can hear Ruben, he's playing with a toy. He's quite happy. Um, dental sticks for the pups. I've got some plum and hoisin sauce. Um, we've got mouthwash. Porridge pots for John. Obviously, um, obviously, what was I saying? I don't know. Um, porridge pots for John. He just prefers doing it in, in it like this for work. It's more convenient for him. I have loose oats that I'm using at the moment. These are currently still on offer. So these are actually um, half price at Sainsbury's. We've got some Taste the Difference Lightly Sea Salted Crisps. I have a big bag of sultanas that I can't remember what I bought for at this moment in time, but I bought them. We have a coffee and walnut cake, which looks lush. Um, some stock cubes, some reduced salt gravy, crumpets, all the carbs. We've got some crumpets. There is some tortilla wraps, fig rolls, pancake wraps, and then these. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Sultana fingerellas? Sponge cake with sultanas. Um, I've never had them before. But for some reason they showed up in things I might like and I was like, yes. Yes, I need these, and I bet they are. So, what or two? Oh, okay, that's not bad actually. Like, so one finger's like 50 calories. But you know what? I've got clotted cream in my fridge that we didn't eat at Christmas, and I think these with some clotted cream on would be pretty good. <laughs> As I said, all of the carbs. Can you see? I was feeling not my healthy, happy, shiny self when I was doing the food order. <sighs> um, sultanas bread go ahead fruit and oat bakes this was my substitution I ordered spring onions they've substituted it it says large spring onions on the package I think on the online notification they called them salad onions um, it's like three giant bulbs it'll be fine uh it's to go with the duck hoisin wraps it, it it will be fine but yeah i think spring onions are normally like 30p and these were like a pound but you know it's fine my freebie this week was naked glory i love the logo i just think it's funny um vegan burgers i don't 100 percent think john will even want to try these sometimes a little bit particular with his non-meat things um but i'm kind of thinking that these might be good for me to have at lunch at some point this week so yeah they were in the free section um i've said this before to find freebies um on the sainsbury's website if you go to the discover tab and then the freebies and competition tab and they normally have a selection and you basically put the item in your trolley and put the code in at the checkout. Cucumber, mushrooms, um, ice gems, sprouts, uh, wafer thin salami. I'm going to do quesadillas one day. That's what the wraps are for. Um, it's that thing, you know, not popping out for lunch. Just uh, like trying to not eat a great big sandwich all day i'm kind of very much porridge for breakfast cheese on toast for lunch at the moment um so just trying to you know a case deer is basically posh cheese on toast isn't it but just trying to change things up a bit chicken thighs oh special fried rice did i say i've got ice gems custard donuts <laughs> yeah so much for the calorie counting hey um, I got a s butternut, what was it, diced butternut squash and sweet potato. I'm going to make a soup at some point. Um, there's some cheddar. We have some cheese squares. Somehow I've bought two lots of ham. I've got honey roast ham slices. And then thick cut breaded ham. And then, I really like this one, the British roast chicken. 
um, not gonna lie, had this come in the last shopping, kind of stood there and opened it, ate the whole pack while putting the shopping away. Uh, yeah, could have been worse, could have been eating cream cakes. A singular red pepper. There's not a whole lot of veg in this uh, food haul. Don't judge. Um, bananas, little potatoes. I've uh, got some snack jacks in cheeky chocolate chip. <laughs> Sainsbury's own brand of ready salted crisps. I've got some creamed cabbage. Pop, blah, blah, cocktail sausages for the pups. Haddock. Right, so we got this as a substitution in my last shopping. Really liked it. So, having it again. Pork loins, um, uh, Madison's smoked pork sausage, pink and white. Thanks, Darwin. That lovely noise was Darwin. Uh, some red onions, a whole chicken, and only two bits of frozen. The Linda McCartney vegetarian shredded duck and frozen peas. And that is this week's groceries. The meal plan is rather simple this week. Um, roast dinner, bubble and squeak with pork the day after, you know. I think most of it. There's no surprises on on the week plan on the food plan this week. It's all rather simple, straightforward. Let's get it done. Um, I'm hoping normal sleep patterns to return soon, but I doubt it. <laughs> Um, maybe when my body will get used to it and I'll cheer up a bit. But yeah, that is this week's groceries. I hope you're all okay. Um, if you're in England, I hope lockdown is treating you well. Um, but I do, you know, wherever you are in the world, I, I hope you're okay. Um, I think it's all right to admit when you're feeling down. I think it's good to talk about it and voice your true feelings. Um, so yeah. That, that's kind of it I oh goodness right I'm gonna stop before I do another monologue I hope you're all okay take care guys I'll talk to you in the next one